What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I have another app review for you. Uh, just before we get started, I wanted to thank you all who joined me on my last live stream. It was really fun connecting with you guys, and I think I'll start doing that definitely once a month, if not more. But it was really awesome. Thank you for all your questions and your support. If you missed it, you can still check it out on the channel, and I'll put a link down in the description below. So today we're going to be looking at an app called Wallpaper Wizard. So it is another wallpaper app, and I know I just did a video on Irview, which I said was the best wallpaper app for Mac, and I still think that's true because it is free, and this one that I'm about to show you is paid, so if you're looking for something a bit more premium, then you can check out this app that I'm about to show you, but if not, then I would still refer back to Irview. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So as soon as we open up the app, you can see that it has a really clean design. This is one major feature that it has over Irview because Irview just had one or two settings panels and it was really just sits in your menu bar. But this actually has more of an app store feel where you can go and search through collections and different categories and you have a much cleaner design. As you guys know, I'm all about minimalistic and clean design. So this was one of my favorite features about Wallpaper Wizard. And so the way it works is you basically just select a category or a collection and you have a couple subcategories inside of that. And once you choose the one that you want, you can add it to what they call your role. And your role is basically your own personal slideshow and just includes all the photos and categories that you add. So if you find something you like, you just select this plus icon and it's added to your role. You can then go to the role tab at the top and you can see all the photos that you've added. Now I have a couple collections here, so I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom until you see the one that I just added. And what's cool is you can actually go into any one of these photos and take it out of the role. So if you like the category that you added, but there's one or two photos that you just don't like, you can actually remove them from your role. You also have the option to share any of the photos here. Now one cool thing about this app is it does cater to any display and multiple displays. So if you have a, a display that's maybe 720p or you have like three 4K monitors, it's gonna work on any resolution because the photos coming in are 4K or raw files. And as you can see here, it actually shows my two displays. Now if I click this gear icon, I actually have the option to set the same wallpaper for both my monitors. I can have a different one for each or I can take that same wallpaper and have it roll through the displays. So it kind of sees the both displays that I have as one giant display. Now just before we start getting into the actual review part of this app, we also have a favorites tab where you can store specific photos that you've liked from specific collections or categories. Now, as always, there's gonna be a couple things that an app does not have, and I try my best to find those things so that I can show you guys if it's worth it to you to go buy that app, especially if it's not free, so that you don't waste your money. And a couple things I found with this app is that it is a bit limited when it comes to the specific photos that you choose. So you can actually go to the next wallpaper and just cycle through your roll, but you can't actually go to the previous wallpaper. Um, that was one thing that I really loved about Irview is that you could toggle between next and previous. Especially if you found a wallpaper that you really liked, you could actually save that photo and download it to your folder. You also can't just pick a random photo and say set as wallpaper or even, you know, just drag it up to the now on your desktop section. You just have to keep hitting the next wallpaper button. The second thing is that it is a bit buggy with multiple displays. I, I did mention that you can roll it between the two displays. But when I do this, you actually, first of all, have to select a new wallpaper for it to make any changes. But then it also pulls in separate wallpapers which doesn't really make sense. If it's supposed to be pulling in the same one and just roll through the two, then I don't really understand why it's pulling in two separate photos. Maybe this is just a bug that is specific to my computer or, or whatever, but I haven't been able to fix this. I believe at one point it did bring in part of the photo on the second display, but even just taking this photo and just, you know, mirroring it to the other side so it would just flip it horizontally, even that would be cool but it's pulling in separate photos, which I didn't really understand. The last thing I didn't like about this app was just the cost. Now I didn't actually pay for this app, I'm just using the trial version, which I will again link down below. 
but if you do purchase this app, it's $9.99. That just doesn't seem worth it to me over Urview because you're getting most of those features for free. So if you're not really interested in the UI and the specific features that Wallpaper Wizard has, it may not be worth it to you. However, that being said, this is definitely by far the most beautiful app I've been able to find to browse through different photos. I have tested countless different apps, Urview included, of course, and this is definitely the only one that offers such a rich experience for the user. You can browse through different collections and categories in a really clean way, and it feels much more like an experience other than just a utility. So if you prefer that experience of being able to browse through different collections and categories in a really clean way, then this is definitely the app for you. Now, as the title of this video has mentioned, I am doing a giveaway. So I contacted the developers of this app and I asked them if I could get some free codes to give to you guys so that you could get this app for free. So they gave me three codes and I'll put them down in the description and this will just be on a first come first serve basis. So the first three people that grab the codes will get this app for free. But if you get to those codes and they've already been used, don't forget to check out the trial version of this app to see if it's worth it to you before you go ahead and buy it. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.